welcome back to the channel and welcome to a video on crown caps. Can you work with them on or off? Now, if you are a total beginner and you don't know what a crown cap is on an airbrush, it's the piece to the front of the airbrush just here. That's the crown cap. You get different ones on different brushes. I've got the PS771 and that is the same as the custom Micron crown cap at the front. It's got little prongs to the front of the brush. So crown caps come in different shapes, sizes, and you can work with them on and off, guys. As I'll demonstrate now, I've got some blue paint in. So that's with the crown cap on, and that is with the crown cap off. So you will get the same spray pattern with the crown cap on or off. Now most airbrush artists work with the crown cap off and I'll tell you re the reason why it is better to work with the crown cap off. When you're working for a long time with airbrush acrylics or different airbrush paints, you don't get this with, so much with solvent. You get tip dry, which is a build up of paint over the needle. So when you've been working and airbrushing for a long time, because you're permanently on the air like that, and you've got paint that is coming out the front of the brush, as you all know, when you paint a wall in normal paint, the air goes across it and it dries it. After time, it dries. Now that's what it's doing on the tip of the needle. You're doing that, you're spraying your paint out, you're painting for ages, and you get a build up on the needle and the air's passing over that needle and it dries the paint. So when you're working with your crown cap on for ages, if you're a beginner, you'll be painting away, painting away, and you'll be getting a build up on that needle and it will dry up. And then your spray pattern will start to get a bit spit air. Either that or the paint won't be coming out the airbrush right. So, recommended, take your crown cap off when you're working, spray, and when you start to see your spray pattern get a little bit spitter, that's when you're getting tip dry. So just give you a little pinch of the needle, clean the tip of the needle, and you're good to go again. Another good reason for working with the crown cap off is when you're painting, you can get a better detail down with the crown cap off because you can see your exposed needle, you can get close up to your work and you can get some finer lines down with the crown cap off. Just makes spraying and working a little bit easier. You've got the exposure and you can clean it. Now, most brushes, when you take the crown cap off, you've got to put that somewhere. Usually you put it on the table next to you and I guarantee you, I'm not the first person, but you'll put your crown cap down and you end up losing them because they're not magnetic. You can't stick it to a magnet. You put them on your table, they'll roll off, and before you know it, it's gone, and you're replacing the crown cap on the front of the airbrush. My advice is get yourself a little bit of blue tack, stick that to the side of your easel, get your crown cap, and just push it into the blue tack. Job done, it's there, you can see it, because if you put it on the table, it's gonna roll off and you're gonna lose it. The only brush that I know of where you get an attachment for the crown cap is the custom Micron. And on the Microns, you can take the crown cap off the back, off the front, place it to the back, and you can screw it to the back of the body like that. So that's a really good feature on the Micron, and it's the only brush that I know of that does it. Now, if you don't own a Micron and you own a PS771, which is the same crown cap they are tiny guys so yeah bit of blue tack push your crown cap in and you're not going to lose it because I guarantee the one on the 771 you will lose if that rolls off the table they're gone you just don't find them so it's a nice little handy tip get your crown cap stick it in the blue tack next to you and you're not going to lose it so that's my little video on crown caps guys if you're a beginner, yes, you can work with it on and off. I recommend start using it with it off. You'll just get used to giving, 
clean your tip dry because you're gonna get it guys, you really will. And blue tack works nice and cheap, saves you forking out for a crown cap. So I hope you enjoyed this video on crown caps and I hope you join me in the next one which will be another little beginners tips and tricks for you. So thanks for watching. Don't forget if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe, press that notification, give us a thumbs up guys, it helps the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.